Jesus is mighty. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high Jesus upholds all things by the word of his power the universe is a vast expanse you have heavenly bodies suspended of all sizes of all capacities and many with explosive power like our Sun and the Word of God reveals to us that God is holding all these things in their places by the word of his power the Lord Jesus himself is the word John chapter 1 verse 1 reveals this to us that he himself is the word of God on a daily basis if God can hold the entire universe together with his word now how much more can he hold your life and my life by the power of his word and today all things that concern us the Lord is able to release his power through his word and generally when God wants to do something in our lives he sends forth his word our scriptures tell us he sends he sent his word and he healed our diseases so receive the word of the Lord as God speaks to us it's it is the very word of God and the Lord Jesus himself releasing his power into our lives what else does this particular scripture tell us uh, we are also being told that he himself has purged our sins and so Christ is being revealed as the mighty Savior God could have sent anyone to take care of our sins and rescue us from our destiny of destruction but he sent his mighty son Jesus who himself purged our sins and not only that we're being told that he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high now that position is a unique position it's a supreme position and Jesus has been invited by the father not just to be at the right hand of the father which is a very special place but to sit down uh, at the right hand of the father and that shows us the, the greatness and the glory of the Lord Jesus now, no one else has that privilege to go and sit down uh, uh, next to God himself but because the Lord Jesus lived a life of obedience and not only was he uh, a, the son of God and heir uh, through inheritance but through his obedience he lived such a life that he received this position of sitting next to uh, God having done everything that God had called him to do so uh, this day may our hearts worship and adore this son of God who is majestic and who is glorious let's pray together Heavenly Father we thank you for your son Jesus we thank you Lord for his glory we thank you for his power we thank you for his authority and Lord we pray that we will experience his glory O God in our lives God we pray that we will embrace the supremacy and sovereignty O God of his power in every way in our lives O God Father we call you to rule and reign in our lives in Jesus name we pray Amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.